In today's video, the major dilemma facing Toronto condo investors and the specific market conditions that they will be operating in. Everything explained in today's video and more. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, this is Sam from Sibiri 6 Real Estate and Remax Realtron Realty Inc. As always, back with another video for you guys here today. If, if you are new to the channel, on this channel we speak about Toronto real estate market trends, facts and stats, uh, buyer advice, seller advice, and everything in between. So feel free to subscribe, comment, rate, and review. You can find my contact information in the description box and on the screen as well. If you have any further questions, feel free to get in touch with me via the contact info. And lastly, you know, as just a simple matter of self-promotion, feel free to just Google my name and go through my Google reviews to see what type of feedback people have provided in the past who have worked with me. Anyways, enough of all that self-promotion. Let's get to the point of today's video which is the major dilemma and the market conditions that Toronto condo investors are working with. Now, I recently put up a poll on my channel asking you guys if you believe there is a major sell-off happening within the Toronto real estate market, specifically with regards to condos. At the time of recording of this video, of course, you won't be seeing it as it's being recorded, so the results might be altered. But at the time of recording of this video, majority of you by, by a slight degree, not, not too much, think that there is a major sell-off occurring. And what inspired me to ask you guys this question is what I am seeing on the ground and according to the numbers. Because I am actively involved in the Toronto real estate market, working on the behalf of buyers, sellers, landlords, and tenants. So I see things from all four different perspectives. And of course, I also look at the numbers as well. There is a certain degree of difficulty facing Toronto condo investors that's not so much the case with Toronto freehold investors, although they are facing their own challenges as well. What is that difficulty? Well, with Toronto condo investors, typically those who have purchased with 20% down within the last year and a half to two years, 99% of them, maybe that's a little hyperbolic, but whatever, 95%, let's say, are on variable, meaning right now their carrying costs have substantially increased and are set to increase further as there is expected to be further rate hikes into July and towards the end of the year. Simply put, their deficit in terms of their cash flow deficit is growing month by month. Now, this is the same case with freehold investors, but what freehold investors have is a way better rental yield relative to total expense due to the potential of dual income from detached and semis and townhomes. Furthermore, what freehold investors do not have to deal with as much as Toronto condo investors is a maintenance fee in the first place, but a rapidly growing maintenance fee. And I covered this in the most recent video where I explained to everyone what I am seeing while reviewing status of certificates for condominiums are projected increases at a aggressive and unparalleled rate to maintenance fees for condominiums, a couple of which have projected to operate at a deficit, which is not legal. And as a result, they would either be looking at a special assessment or once again, a further increase in the maintenance in a aggressive fashion. So here is the special case and the special difficulty that condo investors are facing in today's market. But that's not it, there is more. The most vulnerable Toronto condo investors are those who are just closing on pre-constructions, so pre-con investors, those who purchased three, four years ago, in some cases five years ago, and are just about to close or will have to close in a couple of months with today's rates. Well, what that causes is a rush of inventory in the form of assignments. And right now, if you take a look at any new building that has started occupancy but not yet closed, you see a influx of inventory more than normal because it is typical for new buildings to have a lot of inventory come onto the market between occupancy and closing. But what is atypical is to this extent and a lot of dual listings, listings that are asking for rent and at the same time trying to sell. 
So now that we have established the difficulty facing Toronto condo investors, 90% uh, of which, right? Because you do have your 10% of individuals who bought with 50% down or bought a long time ago. And as a result, they've paid off most of their properties. Some of my older clients fall into that category, but most individuals, most mom and pop resell and pre-con investors do not fall under those categories. And now that the difficulty has been established, there is room for some reprieve. And the reprieve in this sense is in the rental market that is right now on the verge of exploding. Now that's maybe putting it a little bit strongly exploding, but what's not putting it strongly is the following. The rental market overall within the GT and the city of Toronto has heated up considerably so and it's especially the case for Toronto condos. Once again, I mentioned I work with buyers, sellers, tenants, and landlords. I have the privilege uh, as a result of your trust and your faith in my abilities and the people who want to work with me to see the market from all different types of angles. And I'm seeing firsthand and I'm seeing firsthand a massive amount of interest in properties for rent that I am offering on the behalf of my landlord clients, massive competition on the behalf of my tenant clients, the select few who I've chosen to work with on the tenant side. And right now the rental market is the complete opposite of the purchase and sale market. Purchase and sale market, inventory is staying on the market for a long time, prices are coming down, there is more and more leverage for the buyer, sellers are competing against each other. And everything I just said about that is the exact opposite with the rental market. Tenants are competing, there's not enough inventory, landlords have the leverage, and prices are going up, especially rent prices for Toronto condos in downtown. Now, as to why this is happening, that's a separate conversation we can have in a future video, but quickly put, but quickly put, it could be a shift from a buyer base that can no longer afford or afford comfortably or have decided to set out the market for the short while into the rental market. There's also other variables we can discuss in the future, but nonetheless, there's no question about it that the rental market is increasing. But nonetheless, there's no question about it. The rental market has heated up and it is getting considerably stronger. And now here is where Toronto condo investors have to make a decision. So to quickly answer the question at play here, which was posed in my poll, is there a major sell-off occurring well, I would have to say this, the downward pressure of the increasing monthly costs, both in terms of interest and maintenance, and then new emerging upward pressure in terms of a more healthy, vibrant rental market is putting a lot of people in flux right now in terms of Toronto condo investors. That's why it is not that uh, unusual or atypical to right now see a lot of dual listings. So listings that are on the market for both rent and purchase and sale. Because although the rental market is heating up and it's in a far better place for landlords than it was maybe a month to three months ago, it's still not enough in my professional estimate to make the path forward really obvious. Well, of course, we're gonna hold on to our assets because the cash flow is getting let because the cash flow deficit is getting less and less. But it's just enough for landlords to consider renting. So in summary, once again, is there a major sell-off occurring? Not in this current moment in time. Of course, there are a lot of condo investors that are selling off because of the increase in rates. But what I am seeing firsthand, at least with regards to my clients and people who are getting in touch with me, asking questions, is a lot of playing both sides of the fence. Now, is there a more of a sell-off occurring than there was early in the year? Well, of course, that goes without saying that Toronto real estate market has slowed down considerably and obviously the condo market is part of that as well. Overall, we do have a surplus of inventory uh, compared to how many properties are selling and the demand in the market. But once again, what is slightly, slightly providing some relief is the emerging hot rental market. Anyways, that is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate and Remax Wilshawn Realty Inc. Let me know as always if you have any further questions. Uh, feel free to get in touch with me, contact info in the description box. Thank you very much so for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you.